And this morning at 6 o'clock, a huge truck and trailer load of supplies went out to Kamii, Idaho. A lot of these supplies are heading to eastern and central Washington today. And for the men and women that have organized this donation drive, it's been really special to see the community get behind the firefighters that are protecting our lives and our property this summer. Loaded up and ready to go. And while a lot of these supplies left the valley early this morning, Sean Graves will tell you there's still plenty to do. What we thought of was making personal go bags with personal hygiene items and some snack items. Graves is a member of the group organizing this effort. The veteran community response has been here in the parking lot of Spokane Valley Fire Station 8 for the last two days, collecting much needed supplies both for the front lines and for the families left with very little. It's awesome. It's an awesome feeling because I know I had my time in need when I got out of the military and uh, the community stepped up. So it feels awesome to be able to be as a veteran to give back to my community in one shape or the other. And this is a bet a great way. People are devastated, they're displaced, and they, they're in their time of needs. Today, some of those needs were met. Veteran Community Response says they'll likely ask for more supplies and donations. It just depends on what their contacts in central Washington and north Idaho say is needed. Right now, hay, straw, and other pet food and supplies are in high demand. These veterans and local firefighters say they'll keep working until everyone is taken care of. Reporting in Spokane Valley, Casey Lund, KXLY 4 News.